Its Pokemon carries an awful stench in its antennae. Its book, it will spray its stench and then zoom away flying at back to speed. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Be connect. How we doing? Yeah, I'll be here for a few minutes for some visitations. Rock on, stained. What's up? How are you feeling? How are things going? What you got going on? Waveform visualizer is what I'm wanting. We got a quick thing we're gonna design here. For, uh, for our background. So I'm, I'm trying to decide which background to use. I think this is probably a good one. Just as good as any. 
This one's less crowded. Duplicate. Doing pretty good. That's awesome. I love to hear it. That's my favorite thing to hear is that people are doing awesome. Delete that. Bam. Delete that. Doing a little work this morning. Whoopsie. Thank goodness for Command Z, dude. Or Control Z. That's my Mac days. My Macintosh days slipping out. Let me go drop in general that we're live just to let everybody know. At chat. We are live this AM. Come on over and join in the fun. Maybe some Overwatch 2 if we can get it to run. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, so we're, we're designing this morning. Working on a little design here. find ourselves an 8-bit question mark, huh? Think that such a thing exists? Or should I get this little weeble wobble, weeble wobble, don't fall down? The only issue with that is that I don't think I can make it transparent. What's up, Sneaky? How we doing? Ooh, that's a good one. That looks kind of futuristic. We're just designing over here. Working on a quick little design for a game that I made. Doing good, rock on. We got two people that are doing good. How, 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 what, what's going on? Everybody's doing good this morning and stuff? What is this actually gonna be a good day or something? Unheard of. We got a good day ahead of us? Can't be. Simply can't be. Just got to work. Rock on. We're glad that you're here. Hope that work stuff is going okay for you, Sneak. This is very appropriate music in the background for what I'm working on. Unlikely. Unlikely that it's possibly a good day. Can't be. See, I knew. Knew there was no way. down just a little bit. Move it back behind everybody. Okay, that looks pretty good. No need for me to be transparent right now. I'm going to add a waveform visualizer now. The trick is knowing what source I even need to pull from. Sims 4, what a great game. I'm going to say that I probably need to pull from desktop audio, but which one? Two? Let's try it. Um, and we're gonna make it, let's see, what's what's the most digital voice we can find? I mean, that looks pretty digital, right? Hmm. I'm sure that we can play with it a little bit. Ooh, a radial's fun. 
Oh yeah, let's do a radio bars, yeah. Oh, that's real fun. Yeah, that looks really good. And it can be talking around the question mark, or it could even be, oh, where could it be? We'll come up with something. Do I just take the question mark away? Or shrink the question mark a little bit? Now, let's not put the cart before the horse. We need to test this thing first. Make sure that it pulls from the right audio source. A, a problem? No! This short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. If attack, it will up and kick up sand with its wings to protect itself rather than fight back. That's good. It looks really good. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the question mark either needs to go away or just shrink. One or the other. Let's try just let's try just let's try just moving it. Let's just say bye bye. Let's just get it away. We'll turn on Spoofy just as a good source of measure here. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Uh, I can't really draw attention to it. Kind of like seeing a deer in the wild. It's beautiful to look at, but if you make any kind of no presence known, it'll bolt. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I know exactly the feeling you're describing. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, so now what we gotta do is design a little logo. Let's work on a little logo real fast. I am a little concerned about problems downloading the file. Why? Why? We really just need a blank file. Blank file. I know I already have Pokemon font. After. So it says hollow. Does that actually mean hollow, you think? Whenever it says hollow, do you think it actually means hollow? Guys, Canva really is cool. Say what you will about graphic design. Canva really is pretty. All right, let's dupe it. Turn it black. One, two, three, one, two, three. Send backward. Nope. Nope. Nice, dude. Dupe. I guess I could be showing you guys what I'm working on, but I'm truly almost done, so it's not a big deal. One, two, three, one, two, three. Send it backward. Ka chow. Uh, I have the joy of talking to Frontier Airlines about seeing if I can change my flight home from LTNCon. I ended up with a 12 hour layover in Denver. Oof! That is, that is quite the layover. I've got an eight hour drive both ways, and I'm not particularly thrilled about that. I never could. I never could find a plane ticket. How ridiculous is that? How ridiculous? Can't find a plane ticket. I thought it was absurd. I am real grumpy about it. In fact. Okay, 
so we're going to have to do some things here. First and foremost, this, both of these have to move. Nope, not you. You have to move here. You have to move. Nope, wrong one. You have to move right here. Boink. And let's go here. Drop them both in Twitch screens. Bow, bow. Nice. Very nicely done. All right, you, Kachow, need. Now we need one more thing. We're almost done. Pika Pika logo. That's wild. I've never heard of anyone not finding. Well, no, that's not true. I mean, I could find a flight, of course. I couldn't find a flight that was uh, reasonably priced. I should have finished my sentence. I could not find a reasonably priced flight. It never went to a normal level. It stayed at an absurd price. It's an eight hour drive, right? So you would think what? For an eight hour drive, plane ticket? Can't be more than $200. Can't be. Eight hours? Come on. No, it never got there. But I guess, I guess I'm wrong. But who could say? It never, it never really dipped below um, 380. And I'm just not willing to pay 380. Simply not gonna do it. So this is a new thing that we're doing called the Pika Pika game. So I had to fly to Frontier because all the major airlines were so expensive. Not happy about flying Frontier, but it was the only option. Well, ironically enough, it, it's really working out pretty well um, because since I've got my brother's wedding, I've got to I've got to be at my brother's wedding, right? Like, I mean, I can't like trust the plane. <laughs> I've got to get there on my own on my own four wheels, and so um, I'm glad that I didn't buy a plane ticket because I probably wouldn't have made it. Because I'm driving, I actually get to go to LTNCon. So we have a new thing called the L, uh, the Pika Pika game. It's just like movie movie game, only with Pokemon instead. So I combined Pokemon's names together. And it'll read the prompt as the little Dexter voice here. And then people will have to guess. And that'll be the fun game. Now what I haven't done yet is uh, put together the, the pixels. So I'm about to do that. And then I'll show you guys what I mean. It's only Gen 1 now. Hmm, <laughs> other way around. Whoopsie, whoa! <laughs> I love that. Okay, cool. Can I download it? Aw, oh, let me download the image. Okay, good. <laughs> I love it so much! Okay. This is great. So I've got like 90 of these that I've got to do for Gen 1. <laughs> I love it so much! Um, let's see, so how do I, how should I make this work is the real question. I guess I would just go download them each time, but that's very annoying, isn't it? We really need Zando to be here. Zando needs to be my, my guinea pig. So, this would be the hint. Why is there a problem playing the file? When it swings its burning tail, it elevates the temperature to unbearably high levels, emitting bush white heat. This tail, by the way, is over 26 feet long and squirms its way through the ground at 50 miles. When it swings its burning tail, it oh, elevates it just, the temperature to unbearably going, high huh? levels, emitting bush white heat. This tail, by the way, 
it is over 26 feet long and squirms its way through the ground at 50 miles. At 50 miles? So the question is, can you hear that? That's the real question. Should it get like its own little special file? It's a tough one. Hmm. Hear it? Yes. Understand it? Not really. Yeah, it's pretty hard to understand, huh? I guess I could always type it. But then that's that's another thing I got to do. But I love the Dexter voice. It's so fun. When it swings its burning tail, it elevates the temperature to unbearably high levels, emitting. But I mean, I, I could always have the clue ready. And if somebody's like, yeah, I didn't understand what that thing said. And then I could be like, all right, I'll read it too. But it's more fun to have Dexter do it at least the first time. That's super fun. So I have, so far I have uh, four done. So I don't have like a ton, but. Let's get the pixels for the rest of them. <laughs> oh, I wish you guys could see it. I wish you guys could see it. I can't wait. <laughs> it's so funny. Difficulty in hearing makes this the soul's burn of war puzzle games. Exactly. Oh, that's very funny. Let's swap on that. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I hate that I can't show you guys this. All right, I'm downloading it. Oh, those are so ridiculous. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> Oh, Pika Pika. Pika Pika, dude. All right, let's go ahead and save him. It really just depends on how seriously I want to take this thing. And the answer is just seriously enough to not spend days of labor on it. But see, what would be really fun is I could do like the the darkened version of like, who's that Pokemon? And then I could have the grand reveal whenever I click it. Oh, that'd be really funny. No, 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 no. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Well, how are we doing this morning, folks? How are things going? I can't remember which way I do this. I'm gonna go make some more coffee. Let me know how you're doing while I'm making some more coffee, folks. Drop it in the chat, in the chat. take dumping is a terrible or dump dumping is a terrible word dumpling is also terrible dumpling is also terrible i think i'm assuming you surely mean dumpling surely need zando to show up so we can see pika pika in action yes we do yeah i'll have to test it before i make a command because i need to see just how much work it is going to be so not only is dumpling terrible but in i don't know if you guys have this in y'all's neck of the woods or if this is a southern thing but there's also this thing in the south called a dump cake. 
just straight up called a dump cake. That's just its name. That's just what it's called. And uh, I can't. Can't. Yes. Seriously, dump dumpling is what my kid does in the bathroom. Oh no. We're getting pretty blue this morning, folks. We're getting a little blue in the chat. <clears throat> What's our horoscope for today? Everybody spam exclamation point horoscope. Find out what your horoscope for the day is. Mine is Pog you. It's a good day. A great day to be a war eagle, dude. Pog you. Yes, that's what we're talking about. I need a Pogu day because I've been up since three o'clock in the morning. I've been up six hours. You realize how insane that is? I've been up six hours right now. That's bonkers. Get your chat off the screen, that's it. That was it. It definitely wasn't because I just saw stream elements say to do a horoscope. It was to get it was to get your your blue content off my screen. What is this? Checkpoint church after dark? Dude, I can't do it again today. I cannot do it again today. I I know, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. No need to don't don't feel the need to prove yourself. I believe you. No no proving needed. I buy it, I believe it, I see it, I know it. See, Kung Fu Carl and Sneaky over in our question of the day. Our question of the day today, folks, is um, surprise, new DLC has been announced for an unexpected game franchise. What game would get you the most hyped? And I, I think y'all y'all gave good responses. I, I'm very curious. I want H-Man and Splash to show up on stream today because I just didn't realize Titanfall 2 was that big of a deal. Like any, any game in the known universe receives DLC, any game of all time, and they pick Titanfall 2. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't know it was that good. I didn't realize. My brain didn't comprehend that that game was that good. Like any game. Like you could have said, like a possible answer is chess. You could have said chess. What does that even mean? What does DLC for chess mean? I don't know. I guess you could come up with it. You could make up some kind of weird chess scenario. And uh, Titanfall 2, I don't know. I don't know. But I like, I like Kung Fu Carl, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Totally agree. That's a that's a classic. That's a game. Now, granted, they did get a new game pretty recently, but like, that's a that's an iconic game. That'd be pretty exciting for it to get more content. Jack and Dexter two. That's an excellent answer because that really is something that has kind of gone by the wayside. You you don't see a Jack and Dexter game anymore. But Titanfall, dude. Nate, you look at uh, you look at me like I look at this one dude in my Bible study. When I pop in the chat, you ask yourself, how much energy am I going to cost today? No, no, no. Not at all. We're happy that you're here, Stan. Zando, I saw your Pikachu. I got news for you, buddy. I got news for you. I got a new game that you're going to test out for me, okay? We're going to see how it sounds. We're going to see how it works, okay? Hopefully it'll go well. Time will tell. Uh, but first, we'll do your movie movie and your gotcha, of course. What's the letter of the day? I don't know, Big Bird. It's G as in gotcha What? Pond. As gotcha pond. <laughs> Got a split. Take care. See you, Stain. Have a great day. 
enjoy your uh, enjoy your visitations today. I hope they all go well. I hope you get to see some puppies if you like puppies. It's always the best part of visitations. Okay. Or sometimes people have good coffee. Uh, Gajapon is to read Nate's book. So you got it. I'll make it happen. And your movie movie game for today is... <laughs> Folks, Zando has claimed this, so please let Zando read it first. Kurt Russell amazes as the coach of the U.S. Olympic hockey team that took down the unbeatable Soviets while enduring the perils of the 1890s Alaskan wilderness alongside an elderly Harrison Ford and his dog. That's a lengthy one. Kurt Russell amazes as the coach of the U.S. Olympic hockey team that took down the unbeatable Soviets while enduring the perils of the 1890s Alaskan wilderness alongside an elderly Harrison Ford and his dog. It's a good one. It's a good one. A bit of a stretch. A bit of a stretch. While we're doing this, I'll, I'll get a page of the book out. Miracle of the Wild! Chats in the clap for Zando. Killed it. Right, page 114. You hate it. Yeah, it's a pretty rough one. That's a pretty rough one. We've actually read page 114 before, so we're going to do page 115. Let's we'll do the next page over. That makes sense in my brain. So folks, this is The Mirror Mural, the book that I wrote whenever I was 10 years old. It's real cringe and embarrassing, but we read it anyway, and we just enjoy ourselves as best as we can. So <clears throat> I present to you page 115 of The Mirror Mural, written by a 10-year-old Nathan Webb. Um, cringy, distracted, confusing, too many chapters, too many characters, too much going on, uh, not enough connected lore, way too much dialogue. This is The Mirror Mural. <clears throat> From chapter 24, what once was lost is now found. I'll start because it's a sentence that runs over. I'll start from the page prior. It would really just help if someone would come along so he could have something to do. And at last, his wishes came true. Hey, hey, is someone there? A voice called out from the dense forest. It was a voice that Davis felt he had heard before. Yeah, somebody's here. Davis replied, daring to speak to any bump in the night so that he had something to do. "'What's your name?' the voice asked, still in the forest. "'Isn't it proper etiquette to introduce yourself first? Davis asked, not being, not being too dumb with his decisions. "'Yes, I suppose it is,' the voice replied again. "'My name is Dan. Now who are you?' "'Dan?' Davis asked disbelievingly. "'I don't think that's a word. "'It's me, Davis!' Before you go all critical on me, this is not this is not dialogue. This is me, the author of this book, talking to you, the reader. Mm. Before you go all critical on me, allow me to fix something here. Some of you may be saying, there are plenty of other Dans in the world. Well, while that may be true, Davis and Dan have a very special connection. They can basically sense one another is around. So essentially, Davis knew before that Dan was near, but he was being cautious. Also, the forest is too dense for Dan to see out and know that it was Davis. Now, just like a good joke, the best stories require you to explain what's happening. Mm -mm. No way, Dan yelled, coming out from the forest. So it really is you? Pfft, Davis laughed, looking at his distinctively panda-shaped friend. <laughs> Dan, you are looking good. What? Dan asked. What are you talking about? And then this long text of ha 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 Davis still laughed hard. He fell to the ground and was forced to grab his side. He was laughing so hard. What? Dan asked, obviously not understanding what Davis was laughing about. I always knew you liked pandas, but come on, Davis explained. 
The main reason I'm laughing is because you still look a lot like Dan. That's what you're laughing about, Dan asked. End of page. That's been the Mirror Mural. Thank you, please. Thank you for hearing these, these cringe words, these awful things that I write about. Ben Boone, welcome to the chat. We're happy that you're here. Welcome in. What are my thoughts on Islam? Of course, the trash truck would come by right now. Um, I would say the, the bigger question would be, what are my thoughts of, of uh, the religion itself? I think it is a religion. It's not one that I've extensively studied. It's certainly not one that I'm offended by. It's not one that I'm like, stay away from me. Uh, I'm much more interested in the people themselves. Uh, and loving them as well as I can. Uh, Checkpoint is a Methodist church, and so we believe in doing good, doing no harm, and striving to grow here at Checkpoint. So my question would, would be, is what in what ways can we do good for our brothers and sisters of the Islamic faith? Uh, in what ways can we make sure we're doing no harm to our brothers and sisters in the Islamic faith? And in what way can we strive to grow? And so the obvious answer there for me would be that I could learn more about it. Uh, I did have an opportunity in high school. I took a... Um, I took a course that was on uh, Old Testament studies. And whenever we were studying through the Old Testament, if you're looking for the people, here I am. Well, welcome in. We're glad that you're here. I, I uh, look forward to hopefully to getting to know you a little bit better. Um, we, So in my Old Testament studies, we had the opportunity throughout the semester to go to a mosque and to go to a synagogue. Uh, just to, because I mean, right, we were, we were in the South in a high school. We've all been to a Christian church. <laughs> and so the thing was like, why, why don't we take the opportunity to go? And uh, it, it was a long time ago. So I only remember very little about it. The one thing that stands out in my brain still today was the separation of the male and the female groups. Uh, that was the one thing that kind of stood out in my brain. But I don't think we actually came during uh, any kind of worship service. We, we really came during Maybe it was a time of prayer. Maybe it was during just a general time of the week and we were just kind of visiting uh, just to get um, a sight of things. I remember going to the synagogue. It was the same thing. We didn't go during a time of prayer or, or during a time of prayer or worship. We just came to check out the synagogue and to check out the mosque. Um, and that was really interesting. It's interesting stuff. I'm fascinated by different forms of religion, especially those that are connected to the Abrahamic you know, faith. But admittedly, I don't know much. I, I missed the opportunity to take a lot of those courses in div school. But my honest answer is that I'm much more interested in just getting to know the people, getting to know folks and asking myself, what can we do as a community to hopefully love better? I think that that's been the biggest division in um, my lifetime um, has, has been, I mean, as always, right? Reconciliation between races. And I think that, not saying that everyone that practices Islam is a Muslim or is a, uh, a person of Arabian descent, but that's been the assumption and the presumption. And so we divide because of our culture, because of our heritage, because of the things that we believe in our political division. And so we try to divide ourselves by our things that we take in. Uh, and that's a bummer. It's a bummer. But yeah. Know that you're welcome here. Know that at Checkpoint, we're never going to try to force Christianity down your throat. We're never going to ask you to um, adapt or to change to our, our, our faith practice or our traditions or our things. Again, this place, especially our Twitch channel, is really just here to um, do good, do no harm, strive to grow, learn more about each other, play games together, connect on the things that we do connect over, um, and to enjoy. Only 200 players ahead of me in Overwatch. I definitely believe that. I'm planning on hopping on here in a little bit. We're all humans. We aren't different. And both our religions worship one and only God. Yeah. Like I said, about that Abrahamic tradition, for sure. Oh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. I look forward to getting to know you more, my friend. We're glad you're here. The peaceful piano is still going. Let's, let's turn back over to some chill tendo. Yep. So that's, that's the crux. That's the crux of the issue, the crux of the stuff. What's this new game I'm testing? Zando, so you, I'm, I'm going to go back to your messages yesterday just to make sure that I don't ruin anything. You gave a lot of guesses. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy that you gave a bunch of guesses. But I, uh, I did work on some, I worked on the Pika Pika game. And I have four options here. And I made this little screen and I thought it looks really good. I thought it looked really good. 
So we got a little our little Dexter here, and he's got a little voice coder. And so I've got him reading four different options, because that's the only four that I've gotten done so far. And then I also have the pixels for them. What's the music in the background? This is Phi's Farewell. Uh, that is, let's see, Phi is from uh, Skyward Sword. Yeah, and I'm on, a, I'm on another screen now. It's right here. Up there in the top corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like Chiltendo. Chiltendo is my favorite lo-fi here. Swordward Sky. So this is Pika Pika Game, and got four different prompts. Those are the only four I've got done so far. I do, I, ha I have, I have like 93, but I've gotten four done. This ought to be fun to test it. So if someone were to redeem the Pika Pika game, I would go over to this screen, we'd pause the Muzak, of course, and then we've got our four prompts, and we'll, we'll RNGesus it. Let's see if we can, can RNGesus do it for us? 52, nope, it won't do it, okay. Uh, number one through four. We'll just randomly pick one. Uh, it may be one that you've already done. I'm gonna make sure it's not one that you've already done. Okay, it's one that you haven't already done. So we're gonna try it and we're gonna see how it works. It might be really tough. What I've got is I've got Dexter reading it, but then I also, I'll just bring the prompt up so if you can't understand Dexter, I'll read it. Um, but let's go for it, yeah. It keeps having errors opening the apps, and that's very frustrating. This short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. If attacked, it will up and kick up sand with its wings to protect itself rather than fight back. This short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. If attacked, it will up and kick up sand with its wings to protect itself rather than fight back. This short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it, it to just tirelessly repeating, huh? climb slopes and walls. <laughs> <laughs> if attack, it will up and kick up sand with its wings to protect itself rather than fight back. Its short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb. It just keeps going. I said repeat walls. once. I said repeat once. And it just keeps going. <laughs> Lift the needle. <laughs> ah, okay. So drum roll, please. Did you get it correct? Let's find out. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it like this. Um, is the answer Caterpidgey? It is Caterpidgey. See, that's what I want to work. I want it to just pull straight from uh, Google Drive there. And I do have a pixel of Caterpidgey. I think it's going to take a whole lot more preloading on my part. Caterpidgey! <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> there we go. So that's Caterpidgey. That's the Pika Pika game. Caterpidgey. Caterpidgey. Love it. So it's going to take a little bit of finagling. I think we've got some work to do, but it's fun. And I've got 93 of them. So it's just a matter of putting in the work. It's about work. It's about power. We work hard. We devour. Are those the lyrics? They're definitely close to the lyrics. Sounds like a Dexter. Sounds a bit like a Transformer transforming. Yeah. I'm glad you were able to understand it. That's encouraging. You were able to understand it enough that you were able to, uh, to to guess, at least. What's up, Perry? Welcome in. Deal with it. Deal with it. I'm here on vacation. Deal with it. Let's see. Ben Boone said, I think it's amazing you have subtitles. That was a Trombone Dalek recommendation. Trombone's one of the members of the community here. And um, they recommended that we... I definitely benefited from multiple listens. How many listens do you think is necessary? Three? You think three is enough? And then worst case scenario, I can always read it out loud. That's always an option. Um, I do indeed have controllers hanging in the background. Yeah, it's actually a little off center. I'm off center this morning. What's the deal with that, you think? What's up with that? There we go. Maybe three if you can somehow get it to take a quick, uh, by the way, I prefer you just call me Ben. You got it. We're glad you're here, Ben. Maybe three if you can somehow, yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Lurking a bit this morning. Well, we'll keep it in mind. I've got a lot of work to do on it. Um, I just fed it to a fake uh, voice faker, a deep fake, and that's how we created the voice. And then I used Pokemon Fusion Generator 
get them combined. And I'm just using the Pokedex entries and combining them half and half. But I think it's effective. I think it's effective. I think it gets the point across. I think it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Uh-oh. Kromzerg. Whether you offend or not, that's clearly an inappropriate thing to say. We do have a family-friendly uh, stream here. So I'm going to delete your message, if I can get to Creator Dashboard. And then uh, we'll let you stick around, but just know that that is an inappropriate thing to ask here on a family-friendly stream. Thank you, Zando. You don't need to be banned or anything yet unless you continue to um, say such things. Well, sorry, you're all good. You're all good, we just try to be a family-friendly stream. We got the tag and everything down there. As best as we can. Some of the games we play, admittedly, are a little bit less family friendly, but either way, welcome. We are Checkpoint Church, church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. Letting people know that God loves them, we love them, and they matter. Doing our best to do good, do no harm, and strive to grow. And that's what we're doing here. We got some big stuff planned today. So um, something else that I wanted to work on. Let's see if I can get this to work how I want it to. Yeah, we stay family friendly even if the games don't. Exactly. What games do you like? I'm a big fan of narrative gaming. I really like RPGs and I really like things with a strong story. So we'll, we'll probably play Overwatch 2 today, but that is not my kind of game. We'll, we'll really just play it because it's a fun game and because it's popular right now. But I'm definitely not like good at it. Interesting. Can't find the right option here. Doop, doop, boink. But yeah, I'm much more into the narrative gaming scene. Those are the things that I enjoy more. So like some of my favorite games out there are gonna be like uh, Undertale. Uh, One Shot has now become a very quick thing. I like Omori. Breath of the Wild's a great game. Assassin's Creed, I admittedly have never played really. I played I played piece, bits and pieces of them. I think I would enjoy them because of the story alone, but I just haven't had time. You play Assassin's Creed a lot more, got you. Well, there's definitely more to play there, right? Breath of the Wild is a long game, but you can't compare to the literal franchise of Assassin's Creed. So something I wanted to do today is work through our top 10 games of 2002. I miss doing these top 10 lists here on streams. I still write them every single week. Um, so they still exist over on my backlog, which you guys can always follow if you would like to uh, be my friend on any of those uh, logging sites or journaling sites. Exclamation point Nate will bring up those. Uh, but let's see if this worked. Point, point. Okay, it sort of worked. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see if I can scroll down a little bit. Nope. Show sure can't. I've been sitting here at 60 for a while. You may want to go ahead and boot up the game. Sure. I can boot it on up. We'll get through this top 10 list at the very least. Okay, so uh, as I've been going through, so for those of you that, that care to know, I grew up in the early 2000s. That was my, that was my like era of gaming. And I have determined that either it's because I grew up during that era or I'm just incredibly blessed and fortunate to have grown up in the best era of video gaming because I have had to make lists now for 2004, 2003, 2002. I'm working my way down. And oh my goodness, there are so many games that I love that it is incredibly difficult to make a, uh, a top 10 list. So, hang on, I'm gonna turn up. I'm, I'm, speaking of stream avatars, Ben, there you go. Um, it is impossible to make a top 10 list of these games, but I have somehow managed to do it yet again I admit this was another one that I really contemplated making a top 20 list because there were so many good games. And I also think this might be one of my most controversial, which is saying something because I've had a lot of controversial game lists um, because people very much do not agree with me. I am not a normie video gamer. I am very much weird, indie, strange games. Games that most people do not play, I play. So here we go. This is my top 10 list from 2002. Keep in mind, the controversy lies in the Japanese releases, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. The JRPGs and the RPGs and the visual novels, always gonna be the ones that, that break the bank. But they're games that I grew up on. You also have to understand something about me. Never have I owned an Xbox. 
uh, my first Xbox anything. So I never owned the original Xbox. I, own, I, I bought my first Xbox 360 secondhand as a senior in college in 2016, okay? That was my first time I ever owned an Xbox was 2016. So I did not grow up on Xbox. I had a PlayStation 2 and a GameCube in 64. We we didn't have a Wii U. Um, I had a DS, I had the 2DS, never had a 3DS. I did the Game Boy Advance. I grew up on the Game Boy Advance. So this is my list of the top 10 games that came out in 2002. Let's work our way through it. Work our way from the bottom to the top. Um, we'll start off with Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts right at the bottom. There we go. Kingdom Hearts right at the bottom. 10 out of 10. I mean, Kingdom Hearts is kind of an iconic game. I wouldn't say it's the best game. I, I enjoy Kingdom Hearts. I think it's an important game. And I like what it did. It was something that felt like a hallmark because you brought all these games, all, all these characters together in one universe, created something new. I'm a big fan of Square Enix. And so it worked pretty well. Still don't know the difference between university and college. They're, they're the same thing. They're the same thing. Some people might call themselves different things, but they really serve the same purpose. Okay, number nine is Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Now, if you've never played the Budokai series, you're missing out because these were excellent fighting games. I wish they would bring them back. Uh, they kind of transitioned into Xenoverse. Is that right? Is that what they worked on? Isn't it Xenoverse? Dragon Ball Xenoverse? Yeah, Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2. That was kind of where Dragon Ball took their turn, but Budokai was so much better. Budokai was where it was at. It was so cool to see these characters on screen. As somebody that like grew up with like Mortal Kombat and that kind of thing, to be able to play those kind of games with characters that I really love from Dragon Ball Z, perfect. Metroid Fusion, that's probably my favorite Metroid game of all time. Um, until Dread. Dread really also impressed me a lot. But Metroid Fusion is one of my favorite Metroid games of all time. It was the first one I played. It confused me. It was so challenging. I guarantee you I never beat it. I guarantee I never beat Metroid Fusion. But I definitely played it a whole lot uh, and suffered through it because it's still pretty rough. I do need to play through Super Metroid. Yeah. Higurashi no Nakakura ni is a visual novel that is very dark, very disturbing, and uh, the opposite of family friendly. Not necessarily one that I highly recommend, but one that's very important to me. Excellent writing, um, dark, dark storytelling. I really like dark stories that go to some pretty depraved places. That's one of my favorite things. Uh, and Higurashi is an excellent one. If you never watched the anime, the anime adaptation would be much shorter than reading through the visual novel. Um, so I actually did Umineko before Higurashi. And let me go and tell you, they are, they are immersive. They are long, long, long games. They will take up uh, anywhere from well, I wonder. Let's let's look it up. Let's let's do some leg googing. All right, I'll turn off the backlog list for just a second. Let's let's leg goog. How long to beat Higurashi? Okay, so Higurashi when they cry is not that long. It's only sixty nine and a half hours. So only seventy hours long. Um, now let's look up Mimineko. That was the first one I played. Umineko is 72. Oh no, wait, excuse me. That's only the that's only the uh, the question, not the answer arcs. Uh, all told, if you combine the question and the answer, because it's three parts each, uh, let's see, what's let's, let's do some math. 73 plus 69, 82 plus 60, 142 hours. <laughs> that's wild! 142 hours of reading, folks. <laughs> so much that's so much that's so silly uh, but important i love it love those games they're so dark so twisted so fun to to theorize about okay uh number six is evolution worlds for all that i know evolution worlds is a terrible game um in all honesty it's pretty likely that evolution worlds is, is an objectively awful experience but for my RPG, JRPG, anime loving, second grade self, this game was the hallmark of that experience. It's a dungeon crawling, roguelike, RPG, turn-based uh, battle sim, and it's so fun in my memory. I own it, I found it at a store like last year, and I positively will not, I refuse to go back and play it because I'm so worried about it damaging the experience. But a very important game to me nonetheless, one that stands up in my brain as being an important game that I loved and played too many times, all the time. I loved the characters. It's kind of a Tales of Symphonia-esque like game, um, but you just make it a dungeon crawler. Big fan, big fan. All right, number five on my top 10 list is 
the contested one that got me in trouble yesterday. Dragon Ball Z, the legacy of Goku for the Game Boy Advance. Zando! Zando said this was a cash grab. Zando said this was a cheap port. Easy peasy, nothing to it. And I vehemently disagree. I disagree. I will stand strong. I love this game. This game was very important to me. Uh, it was one that I played a whole lot. I found it compelling. It told the story that it needed to tell of where we were up until that point. I'll never forget Snake Road. I'll never forget Snake Road. I'll never forget the home for infinite losers. Um, and I tell you, I went back and I played it whenever I started a YouTube channel back in 2014. When did I start my YouTube channel? So anyway, 2014, 2015, whenever I went back and started my YouTube channel, this was the first game that I did a full playthrough of. And um, it's a good one. It holds up for me. I'm not saying it's a great game, but it's a good game. And the music, the music, dude. At the very least, Zando, I want you to go back and listen to the music of the Legacy of Goku and tell me it, in the very least, is not inspired. Because I'm telling you, even if the gameplay is not inspired, the music for this game was preem. It was excellent. I will stand strong with that. Okay, number four. This still is continuing to show my colors. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. I love Phoenix Wright, the entire series. I like reading. I like visual novels. I can't help it. I love anime and JRPG stuff. All the Japanese releases are what get me in trouble. I don't play any of those normie games that release over here in the States. <laughs> I play exclusively weird games. I, look at this. Look at this list so far. Everything has been a Japanese release. Everything has been a Japanese release. Number three, Fire Emblem, The Binding Blade. Do you know what that is? That's a Japanese release. I'm just obsessed, dude. I'm obsessed with anime. I can't help myself. All of these, all 10 are Japanese. All 10 are Japanese. Number three is Fire Emblem, The Binding Blade. All the Fire Emblem series are excellent, but the Game Boy Advance era is special. The Game Boy Advance era is just the best. I know what it is. It's a game that never came to America. Well, there definitely are ways of playing it. There are ways to play it that I'll never tell Nintendo about. Number two, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I mean, I think Wind Waker is probably honestly one of my favorite Zeldas. It's definitely in my top three. I think I go back and forth between Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time, and Wind Waker as being a really good experience. Breath of the Wild, some days I really like it more. Some days I like it a little less. Uh, Majora's Mask, I never really got into, which surprises me because I do love horror so much, but it's good. It's good. It's good. I love Wind Waker. I love the art style. I think that it's important that Toon Link kind of got his start there and just has continued running. I keep wanting to check Overwatch to make sure that I'm not in yet. Still says 200 players out of me. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, number one on the list just has to be, it couldn't be anything other than this, Pokemon Sapphire. Ruby Sapphire. Now, Zando disagrees with me on this one because it released in the States the next year. It released in 2003 over here in the U.S. Backlogged goes with original release dates in Japan. I go with what Backlog tells me. Backlog tells me 2002. I say this is 2002. So I have no idea. I have no line in the sand there. And as far as which one I played, I played Sapphire. Sapphire was the one that was special to me. Um, but honestly, you could put Ruby in here as well. They're really basically the same game. They are, all, for all intents and purposes, the same game, especially if you have the ability to trade between them. So there you go. There's my top 10 list. This is the list that I came up with. Uh, I'm probably wrong, but you know, sometimes you just got to be wrong. Now let's look at somebody that actually cares about state-based games, which would be our buddy Splash. Let's look at Splash's list. I think this is a good thing for us to do to see what people that play games, play normal games would play. So here we go. This is what a, this is what a, a normal game player would play, okay? So this is, this is our own Splash Forces list. 10 Jet Set Radio Future. So I've played Jet Set Radio, but I don't know if that's the one I've played. I've definitely played some Jet Set Radios. Nine, Ratchet and Clank, great choice. It was in my honorable mentions. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcra, Outcast. Uh, no, I've never played any of the Star Wars games really. Um, I don't, I, mean, I like Star Wars a lot, but the games never really enticed me. Uh, didn't, didn't get the, didn't get the urge to play any of the games, mainly because you know where they were coming out? Xbox. I didn't have an Xbox. And, uh, and so I just didn't have the ability to play a lot of those games. Metroid Fusion, so we agree there. Time Splitters 2. Is Time Splitters the arcade one? Or am I thinking of a different one? I, I've never played Time Splitters. 
No idea. Kingdom Hearts, we agree there. Super Mario Sunshine was in my honorable mentions. Would have put it on there, but the truth about Super Mario Sunshine is that it's one of those games that I started a million times because I rented it from the movie gallery, but never got much further than the intro bits before I had to return it on Sunday or Monday. Grand Theft Auto Vice City in my honorable mentions. Excellent game. Um, important, important game for the franchise. A real shift for Grand Theft Auto as a franchise. Um, however, at the end of the day, Grand Theft Auto is just Grand Theft Auto, and I have no love for it. Number two, Wind Waker, we agree there. And number one, Metroid Prime. I chose Fusion, but Metroid Prime was on my um, was on my list of honorable mentions. Here's the, here's the truth about me. I don't play FPS. I don't play FPS, so what are you gonna do? I, why would I put Metroid Prime up there if I don't play FPS, you know? Um, I think Metroid Prime, again, important. I don't do FPS. I got 50 players in ahead of me on Overwatch. What I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to go and uh, I've got to use the restroom because coffee's run right through me. Um, and I will send you guys to a quick intermission and I'll be back literally in no time. All right. And then maybe we'll play some Overwatch. Yeah. 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 Here we go. <laughs> Running on a nine volt. What am I supposed to do? Hook him up to a car battery? <laughs> I need my power. Give me more power! Ah, ah. <laughs> you can't, oh no, a thing shot out. All right, well this, maybe that was the problem. There's a little thing in there. He has chronic fatigue. He needs some help. Now if I like wave him around, woo hoo! Woo! Just not feel it, it's cause it's not Christmas yet. Brings out the best in me. Unlike the violating heat of August that fills the space between the dirt and the heavens, only a handful of moons prior to the golden treetops and the ritualistic pumpkin and maple that stirs our hearts and reveals our need for stupid cheery things. <laughs> I tried to, it almost worked. Some lines really worked well. All right, next stanza. So in between the stanzas, shorty, oh my angel, you're my darling angel. Closer than my peeps you are to me. Baby, the artist falling asleep, laying he said, to rest in the fading foliage on the ground, folding up the day to smaller, smaller glimpses of light, and here I am. <laughs> Be then in the soft wind, here I am, greening in a gray sweater, here I am, waking up the tenderness of autumn, can't be a cool one, what about a longer run? <laughs> uh, let's just draw a card, because Stinkbug's gonna go in there anyway. Kraken! Okay. Here I am. All right, mole. I don't know what mole does. Got it. Take the last face up. As you probably noticed, the new face up haven't been replaced yet, right? They replaced me finish this turn, right? Look at the face down card with blank. If you draw a face down card, it's fine. It's fine. I, I'll take it. It's fine. Draw one face down and accept your decision. <laughs> don't tell me to accept my decision. <laughs> uh, Jerry, would you mind running that back for me one more time? Jerry, would you mind just running that one more time for me, Jerry? Uh, Jerry, please, if you wouldn't just run that one more time. Uh, Jerry, if you wouldn't just please. Please, one more time. Jerry, Jerry, if you wouldn't just, Jerry, if you wouldn't mind just, Jerry, if you wouldn't just mind just playing one more time. Jerry, Jerry, please just cycle one more time. Okay. I don't see anything. Do you guys see anything? Stop browsing? I mean, yeah, right? We're done. Bean, now it's a dirty floor bean. It's a dirty floor bean. It made it even worse. Dirty floor bean. Woo! <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. What's up, what's up, what's up? Folks, we are in it to win it. We are here. Uh, Zando, my friend, do you want to squat up? Are you in? Are you playing? Um, I'm going to try something new today. I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited. I'm going to try and play this game with mouse and keyboard. Hmm. Huh, what do you think about that? I also need to turn my filter down a little bit. Whoopsie. Let's drop me down to 90%. I'm in a game at the moment. Do you want me to wait on you? I can do some training. Uh, let's see what I missed when I was gone. Ba -ba 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 don't really like shooting games that much. I don't play FPS, let's play Overwatch, right? That's the fun part. That's what's exciting. I wanna explore and role play. Agreed, did the stream end or did he go for two seconds? Yes, I had to go get some more coffee 
and use the restroom. Those are some old highlights. Uh, Mentioned university earlier. Where are you from? Don't really want to say. You don't have to tell us where you're from, but I would love to know uh, how you found us, Ben. Did you find? How did you? Uh, how did you hunt us down here? Did you get recommended to us or sent our way? Let's see. Let's let's train since I got to try this thing, huh? I'm from Bahrain. Is that Bahrain? Is that how you say such a thing? Right. See if I can remember how to play. Or learn to play, really. Looking at just chatting and I found you. Well, awesome. Okay, so right click is the is the thingy thing. Jump is jump is space. That makes sense. Make way. E is the spinning thingy. Um, left shift. Oof. Pronounce it however you want. Well, I did. I want to know. I want to know. I don't know how to pronounce things. There's one thing that you will learn. So it's funny that you mentioned GeoGuessr, because uh, so we do every quarter we do something called our Checkathon, where we raise money for a selected charity, uh, and do a uh, charity stream. And the fun thing about that. You guys have a movie night or something? We want we want to start one of those. We don't have one yet. Okay, so that starts that. What do you think Hugh would be? Nothing. C is that. Oh, okay, that's what V is. Interesting. What was I saying? Uh, so yeah, it's funny that you say that about GeoGuessr because I am notoriously awful with everything regarding. Geography. Yeah, we're gonna try mouse and keys. What other? What are the other? Um, oopsie. Okay, I thought for sure it would show me the. Fascinating. Holding. Cutting through. R do anything? F do anything? No D punches. We've talked about doing a movie night is mostly logistics. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're a growing community and we certainly have people in the community, but we are still small. We are still humble. We're still growing. Let's see. I'm great at geography. I found, I found a lot of people are. I am not. People very much impressed me with their geoguesser. Currently learning all the capital cities. That's incredible. I can't even imagine. Surely there's got to be a way to see. There must be a way to see controls. There simply must be. I refuse to believe there's not a way to see controls. I don't even know what that one does. Not on my watch. Like settings. Okay, controls. There we go. Interface. Okay, left control is crouch. Oh, the toggle. That's nice. I'd much rather do that. Uh oh, uh oh, no way, no way, not true. E, Q, F is interact, primary fire, secondary fire, equip weapon. What does that even mean? Quick melee, reload, next weapon. The, who has multiple weapons? My game is done. Well, let me know if you want to partner up, my friend. I'm trying to learn keyboard. Do I need to change my reticle? You want another pronunciation? Yes, please let me know. Mercy has different weapons. Ah, so I just don't play a character that has different weapons. So that's not important to me. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. 
Toggle crouch. Let's see. One is equipped at weapon. Okay. So does Torb. Very interesting. All right, well. It sounds like I've got the important things anyway. What would you like to do? You like arcade. What arcade would you like to do? Or do you just want to take control and just invite me in? If anybody else wants to play with us, let me know. I'm the Nate Dub hashtag eighteen eighty one on um, Blue Battle Net, whatever it's called. Bahrain, Bahrain, Bahrain. I don't have many friends on here, yeah. I usually say it with a normal H. Got you. It isn't letting me invite you? No! Weird. Are you on are you on PC? What are you playing on, Zando? in a different version of Overwatch. What does that mean? Small country, but a lot of life, as in it's really comfy here. I would love to visit more countries. It does get hot, but if you live here, you get used to it. I would like to move to somewhere much colder. I'm also on PC, so what would be the reason? Do I need to update the game or something? I don't understand. Player is in a different version of Overwatch. Here's how to fix it. Don't tell me the story, just tell me how to fix it. If it's grayed out, open up the game's chat and type invite. In, uh, <laughs> invite did I do it I did it all right so which one do you like to do you said you like to do mystery hero that would help me learn more people but it doesn't look like it's available oh you did that's funny Yeah, I don't see Mystery Hero available, my friend. It's an unranked. Okay, let's do it. Start of the year, they changed it from Sunday to Thursday to Monday Welcome to Thursday to for Paris. school. Interesting. I've never heard of that. Oh, you are in the secret room. Okay, let me pull that up. You're coming out the right spot. Okay, I should be able to hear you, and you should be able to hear me. Yep, I'm here double now. Got him. Your logo symbol makes it look like you're a GeoGuessr person. Yep, I definitely see that. I could see how you would get that idea. But nope, 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 nope. That's just our logo. We're kind of having a little play on the uh, the whole concept of like checkpoint, right? We're like a checkpoint on a map. H-Man, do you want to play? We can invite you in the next match. Hey, Zando voice. Hi, Paris back. How are you doing? Can you hear him okay, Fairy? Do I need to turn down anything? Do you need me to speak louder? It's very possible that the game is just too loud. Who am I? Junker. You are Junker Queen. Haven't downloaded it yet. H-Man, what are you waiting on? Don't you want to play with us? Don't you want to be our friend? I don't think he does. Taking a personal like very much. Zando voice is good. Game is a little loud. Let's let's change that. Hey there. Drop it down to eighty, maybe. Tell me if that's better. Five, four, three, two, 
What time do you usually stream? Say it in your time, because I memorized the time zones. Oh boy, I am, I'm all confused. You can download now. Well, we would love to play. Ooh, I'm gonna get hurt. Okay, I got like a sword. Got like a sword. Don't know what that does. Uh, H-Man, I'm trying, I'm trying mouse and keyboard and it's going, it's going swimmingly. It's going swimmingly. I'm definitely not confused about where I am at any given moment. We stream Mondays from 1 to 4, Tuesdays from 1 to 4, Wednesdays at 9, and then every other Wednesday night. Thursdays, which is right now, from 9 to noon. And yep. Thursday, or and, and every other Friday at one o'clock, we drop a podcast on here. I was like, why am I the same hero? It's because I killed myself instead of being killed by ah, someone else. Basically, be available. And most of our stuff happens over on our Discord. Another day, another battlefield. That's where all the good stuff happens. Oh, now I'm a healer. Well, all Eastern. Everything was Eastern. Oh, PM. Good point. Yeah, PM. So one neat thing that they implemented for Overwatch 2 is, is um, if you died with a with a high uh, ultimate charge, if you switched characters, it used to be you'd drop right back down to zero, but now if you uh, spawn at 30 percent. See, I got healing boards. You don't use Discord, that's all good. I'm trying to keep you alive, and then I die. I wish you had to lock in heroes and couldn't change once the match starts. With Mystery Hero. What's that? Oh, like you, was... it just gives you a random person and you play the entire game? Right. Yeah, Anyways, gotta go. I'll be back in half an hour. Was... <laughs> Have a good day. It was nice to meet you, Ben. We hope you'll be able to join us for some future streams. Whoopsie. Guys, I've got our number. This really good. Well, I tried Bastion. Revive Fancy Boy. Where's Fancy Boy? Dead. So confused, are you blue or are you red? We are blue, but I also got confused the other day whenever we were doing the push the bot. Yeah, we are we are blue. I mean, the, the, the player is always blue. It always shows up. You're ending quite atrociously. Are the servers still nuts to get in? I got in pretty quick. 
maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, all things considered, today was not that bad. Still pretty early in the day, too. Tell what character I'm the most confident with, because that was the best I've played so far. <laughs> Bastion and Arisa are about it. Yeah, they they obviously made some changes to her, to Arisa with the uh, she no longer has a clip; her gun just overheats. So as long as you can kind of control your shots, you don't run out of ammo, which is neat. Oh, endorsements unavailable for friends. I can't tell you how yeah. good you did. I endorsed Fancy Boy. Me too. And I'll I endorse just always endorse blindly. <laughs> Ellison. Ellison said GG, and that just you know that just makes me think they're a good person. Another mystery here. Or do you want to go play some arcade? That doesn't confront me. Just uh, pick whatever you'd like. I really enjoyed the pusher thing. I want to learn more about it. I want to do the push map. Okay. Plus, I'd like to lock in a single character because I want to. I got to figure out a race. I got to see if I actually like her still, or if I want to go back to Bastion, or maybe even go crazy and experiment with a whole new character. What? Can't be. Welcome to Paris. Let's see who else. Maybe I'll be better with uh, with Arrow Guy with Hanzo on mouse and keyboard. Oh, maybe is all I have left. Oh well, don't get to find out because I don't get to practice. <laughs> Launching it now. All right, H Man, you'll, we'll get you in the next round, my friend. If you want to add me as a friend, I am the Nate Dub hashtag eighteen eighty one. I believe I am Zando hashtag one 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 seven. If I could be wrong. I only know mine because I literally just looked at it. I want to give mouse and keyboard a, a fighting chance because Neon White really did improve so drastically once I used mouse and keyboard. Yeah. What is it again? The Nate Dub. T-H-E-N-A-T-E-D-U-B. Hashtag 1881. I count on you. Um, it is helpful if you um, press F1 and hold it down. You can see your, uh, like your abilities and how they work. Well, oh, that's so nice. What else do you know? What else? Uh, I know a uh, fair amount. <laughs> I need to know all the things. Any other tips and tricks would be nice. It's all based on what hero you play. The different temporary tips and health, tricks. reducing all damage taken and becoming unstoppable while active. Heat generated by your weapon is reduced. Oops. He's got it. So long. No time to waste. We need that lead back. 300 people in the queue. Are y'all in Discord? We are in the secret room, which you should have access to. Take it out. I, I was at 200, and I think I got in, in, in about 20 minutes. Yeah, when I opened the game, it said 200, and then it slowly went down from the there. Enemy's got a turret. Mine got very precise this time. I don't think I've ever made it below 20 before it just lets me in. But this time it got down to like four people. So we 
the best and just be a tank whenever he wants now. Not Bastion. Oh no, I got the turret. Man, I thought it was Bastion. <laughs> Torb! I was wondering why he wasn't moving. I was like, there's no way anybody's this bad and not me. Am I flanking them right now? I didn't even know I was flanking them. Yeah, that's kind of the neat thing about Twitch is you can look around and play. You don't see the secret room? Alright, I'll, I'll add you in as soon as this match is over. That's surprising. You would think Guardians would be able to see it. Donkey had a cheeky you don't video see it at the about of the get a room O2 grouping. being a new type of battle royale with 30,000 players and you want to be the last one holding out to load the game. That's very funny. Oh, Donkey. I keep forgetting that it's my E. I didn't even notice his turn. I wish instead of, um... Instead of showing you just another random player, I wish they would do, like, a flashback of how you died. So that you could see... They do. They do? Yeah. They show it from the from the player that kills you. Yeah, I feel like I just go to another player. Maybe I am seeing it. I have my ult, but I don't know what it does. Uh, it draws uh, enemies in. And the longer you hold it, the more damage it eventually does. They will not break me. So it like I think it activates your like gold power. Or your like your whatever your sturdy power is called. You know it's so not the bongo more anymore. Damage. Right? No, it's not a bongo anymore. Okay. You kind of twirl your baton and you uh charge up to do a whole bunch of damage. Oh, jeez. Bastion's new alt is like artillery fire. So I'm just used to like waiting till I see tank Bastion to get scared, but that is not the case. Man. Slow learning. Very slow learning on the keyboard. My allies need just remember that sucking at something is just the first step of being kind of okay at it. That's it. Enemy turret just blew up. <laughs> so I definitely had to be way closer. I feel like I'm dying really, really fast. Well, they're it's all of them together, like aiming at you, so. So they're just filling they do us. a great job of regrouping once they die. Whereas we just kind of continually run in one at a time. Your um, E key move, where you spin your javelin, increases your speed and your teammates as you move forward. Hmm. So that's helpful to, to push if you've got a bunch of people around you. Oh, H man, I just added you in. I'm gonna endorse. I'm gonna endorse the Kitsune. Hey, -oh. what's up? You might be crazy quiet, cause I can't hear. A little you. bit quiet, yeah. <laughs> Is that better? Can you hear me now? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. I'm probably going to turn you up a little bit on my end. Make sure everybody can oh. hear you. 100 players in queue now. Nice. You'll be in before you know it. It's been a little bit kind of day. Good. 
good. All right, we probably have time for another one. Yeah, you're good. I've... There's a chance that when I get it, it's gonna make me redo all of the, uh, like, log in and give me my phone number. I'm gonna try Bastion. Welcome to Valadin. Uh, that is an excellent question. I'll just get it while you're gambling. Uh, mine is Zando, hashtag one 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 two seven. So I was I almost had it. I just forgot the two. First, I can increase two seven. One 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 two seven. Oh, I see. The turret is now your super. As Bastion. The turret, is, so with Bastion, you right. you can turn into a turret, but it's a limited time thing. It's not well, like a, you can just save that. Yeah, I think it's. I think um, they reversed them. So it used to be that the turret was your was your um, one of your powers, and then your like super was you turned into the tank. Now your tank is your power. So you you turn into a turret. And you can be a tank, so that's right. that's your your passive thing, but it's a limited time. And your ultimate right. is you turn into an artillery, so right. you stay put, but then you can like it lets you shoot farther away. Right. So that like, cuts to a different type of screen. It just swapped. Yeah. Always oh, looking nice. sharp, brother. Try my best. My arrows will never dull, as long as my will stands strong. I meant you here. Oh, well, we don't have a tank. Nice to know. Should I have been a reason? I guess again? we have a tank in the sense that Bash literally is one. So it doesn't force you into an actual time anymore? Uh, I don't think arcade mode does. It would have us lock into a two healer, two DPS, one tank. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the two healer, two DPS, one tank. I wish it would have been like two tanks, one DPS. The enemy is in the lead. We must recover. Whoa, they were right next to me. Oh, man. Even notice them. I just get drained, dude. Bunch of health, though. We've taken the robot. Their forces Let the dragon consume. I feel like I almost need to be like a stealth bastion because as soon as I get spotted, I get immediately. But does, I think their Reinhardt is like really on top of you. 
I looked at one point and it looked like he was practically at our spawn while we were taking the robot. <laughs> Man! somebody wow <laughs> one kill feels good huh i'll take it you got three kills dude don't cut yourself short have i really yeah unstoppable dude. What's that? Anyways, won't be talking much because I want to watch you play. Do you really? The, um, <laughs> you sure? You need the battle pass to get the the newest character. So there are three new characters in Overwatch 2 so far. Um, and the new healer is the one that you, need, that you can unlock by purchasing the battle pass. I'm considering it. Is that the fox person? Because that's the only thing I'm going to Yeah. I think everybody's going to buy it for the fox person. I think if you can buy the, um, the Founders Pack or something for $40, which gives you the Battle Pass and automatically unlocks the new character. Oh, see, I don't know what that does, though. <laughs> I'm so confused by my artillery. At least do some damage to the monkey. I couldn't get out of the room. The greatest gamer. That said, I have to head out. Good dropping in briefly this morning. Good to see you, Perry. Hope you're enjoying your vacation, my friend. I can't get out of it ever. I get so caught up. H man, I feel like I've heard this before. Wasn't uh, Paragon the one that you liked so much? Wasn't it third person? Or am I wrong? It was a third person MOBA, right? Yeah. Man, two healers and three tanks. That's a tough comp to beat. Am 
might crank down the volume just a little further. Hey, look at me! That's the most experience I've gotten in a while. Uh, let's see. H-Man, are you in? Yeah, I'm here. I'm checking to see if all my skins are here. Doesn't look like a lot of them came over. Yeah, I'm going to invite you in. Oops. Nope, not Huntman. Oh, you are Huntman. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, do we want to do something else? We've done several rounds of push maps, but I'm down to keep going since now we have HBM. I haven't played a single game, so I'm down for whatever. Then yeah, I, I have no preference. All right, let's go for it. Now traveling to Kamizaka. Well, Ben, welcome back. I know you've been back for a little bit. And now that I'm in between games, I can actually, like, think. <laughs> I gotta turn down the volume. Left. It is just too much. Let's bust it down to 30, see if that's low enough. This is gonna take some getting used to. Uh oh, battery low. I'm gonna try Bastion again because that was the best I've done. So this is like I can play the new person. Oh, you, you can play can. as one of the new peeps. So it's Kiriko, right? That's the new one. Yeah. 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 Like, this is the first one to drop me on. Huh? I wonder if you can do it just as arcade mode. Because yeah, it's available for me as well. So I just saw on my spoofy, uh, the latest episode of Hideo Kojima's podcast, I'm pretty sure, has Jordan Peele in it. And that is just not the combo I was expecting today. Like if you told me when I woke up this morning, you're going to be listening to a podcast with Hideo Kojima and Jordan Peele in a little bit, I would have been like, you're crazy. That simply cannot be true. Team of five now, right? What's that? Team of five. Yep. Yeah. Do they have a diva? Gotta go. Pray now. BRB in about 15 minutes. All good, Ben. I love Sigma. He's so fun. We definitely have a better uh, audio to game ratio now. Okay. I can hear you way better. Got launched by somebody. Man, I spawned all the way in the back right as we uh, got the next spawn point. <laughs>
Man, that was my first death. Yeah, if they are, um, as long as they are around that robot, it'll run back and start pushing the other wall. But they still have to like lead it. It'll, they still have to lead it back over there. Man, their diva, I just can't get. Trying to empty the ocean. I think we should try to group up a little bit here because if we keep running in one by one, we're not going to do anything. Okay, well, I just died, so I can... I just died, so I'm I'm right behind H-Man uh, here. Wait, so you guys are not respawning? Sorry, I have so much help. How do I get away? <laughs> uh, well, I killed three of their team. And I didn't see where their sniper was. So we ought to be in a good uh, good position to start taking this back. My issue is that I pretty much perpetually get cornered. Go from one moment of being cornered to the next. There's Arya again.
Yeah, it's just driving me nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Metro? Yeah. Oh. This is a giant shield. Yep. <laughs> this map is perfect for her, too. There's so many archways and like little. I need healing. Try to do the artillery. And that is a bouncy grenade. I know that's kind of the point, but man, it's bouncy. Keep us behind you, Nate. Oh, too little, too late, I'm afraid. It is definitely among many things one of my big weaknesses is I don't even think to look around me. I'm so focused on what I'm doing that I don't pay attention to the surroundings at all. I don't have that gamer sense. Alright, we're in the lead, so that's good. 10 player kill streak, guys. Let's go. Nice. Push him to the choke point, if we can. Did we do it? Yep. Wow! I like to think that my Reinhardt armor is uh, checkpoint themed. That's up. The white with the purple accents. Maybe it should be the other way around. I think it's very appropriate. Very checkpoint. It is. It is even the check purple. It's a nice dark, deep purple. Smoke on the water, if you will. Level two. Yeah. I reached Battle Pass Tier 4. When you're all missing this next one out, I gotta go help Hannah with something, but I'll be right back. I'm just gonna leave the party. Alright. All right. Party back. What are the other options? There's Blitz. It's a flag football esque thing. That's like capture the flag, but it's like super fast. Okay, there's low gravity. There's Paraiso. Yeah, No Limits is uh, just the normal game, but yeah, you can everybody can be the same hero if they want to be. Oh, that's funny. Well, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to make you group yeah. leader, and you do whatever you would like, because I am unaware of all the things that I need to do. You pick. Your go. I've picked enough. And if anybody is just joining us in the chat and wants to play along and, and crew up, please let me know. We will welcome you into the squad with open arms. We <laughs> will do our best Scott Stapp as you join us. What's up?
All this time I've been thinking Echo is a healer. Nope. Looks like a healer. I am always ready to learn. Is this a more appropriate uh, purple? Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, I couldn't design that better myself. Sticky bombs. Free fly. Glide. Focusing beam. Thank you. Become a copy of the targeted hero. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Cannot swap heroes. I really felt like I got to, got to learn that character. I always get nervous with Brigitte. You feel like you really need to know how to play that character to be an effective healer. But luckily Lucio's here. It's Brigitte? Yeah. Interesting. Definitely been saying Bridget. And I'm going to go on a limb and say, yeah, that I'm probably not alone. So that is a common mistake. Yeah, everybody said Bridget until their her like character video was released. I'm like, oh, it's uh, Brigitte. Okay. That's what it is. Yeah, playing this again makes me really want to go back and uh, catch up. Because there are definitely more videos that I just never got to see because I just got out of it, Overwatch. But that was always their best part. The shorts were the best part for me. Yeah. They were like the Pixar of the gaming world for a while there. Mm-hmm. What's our sniper doing here? I'm, I'm beginning to think we might have a four-man team. Come on. All I wanted was that kill. <laughs> I wasn't going to move for nothing. Our sniper isn't there anymore. So maybe they just had to be AFK for just a second. How there's this fight and this little choke point while they, no one's paying attention to the robot. The objective is just completely ignored right now. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, here they come. Yeah, I don't think our I don't think our sniper's in it. Maybe. Our sniper, yeah, Widow's here. Oh, it is? Okay. Finally. I don't know if, if they've already always been around, but they're certainly here now. Oh. 
bikes behind me, behind me, no! Well, I had a good streak. Yeah, the combination of Bob and Reaper did me in there. Where, where, where am I getting shot from? Reaper, he oh was right behind goodness. you. Looks like above me. No one can hide from my sight. Did you die? I did. Okay. I'm gonna hang back. Wait on you. Right here. Yeah, I've got. I'm hoping every because everybody else died too. Oh, I see. Push together. Yeah. Four out of five. Isn't there other yeah. snipers? Widow is just like in and out. Oh, Widow's changing. That makes sense. Stay back. Yeah. Alright, we're good. For a second it felt like I was reloading my hammer. I don't really know. <laughs> That's not really a thing, but I was like not swinging, and that was really weird. Whoopsie, I shouldn't have done that right there. Just the right place for defensive again. I can't move. I hate whenever I get stuck. Well played, Reaper. Well played. Sorry, Cassidy just died. How'd they already get it back? Or did we get it? Who has it? I'm so confused by the graphic at the top. It feels so backwards. We are not fighting on the robot. We need to go back there. Who's on it? Oopsie. Certainly a choice to do the ultimate there. Ma <laughs> Man. Felt like I was doing good.
All right, we got the lead back, and we win. Yay! Two dubs in a row. Feels good. Yeah, I'm liking Bastion. I like Bastion. Feeling good. Well, at least we had a good Brigitte. That was my worry. Let's give it to the healers. I gave it to Cassidy on accident. I didn't know. I didn't know that was the plan. All right, I've got maybe one more before I have to run and do an errand before I pick the kids up. All right. That sounds good to me. We are either very entertaining right now, and that's why nobody – they're speechless. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. I have access <laughs> to the stats, so I, uh, I know that is not the case. But that's all right. getting – that uh you have to like there's no what's up stained um, you can't just like join a queue and it just keeps going they changed that for this game so you have to like respond to stuff afterwards right <laughs> i'm gonna use the restroom un momento okay Oh man, someone took your bastion. What's going on, Stain? Welcome back. I don't have time! I don't have time! I guess I'm gonna be Arisa. I can change later if I need to. Got 10 seconds to go potty. I can't! I don't have time! <laughs> this is just gonna be a match under pressure. I don't have time. I had time, I had time, and then somebody took bastion! <laughs> I had plenty of time. We didn't have a healer, so I switched off of the uh, Reinhardt. I barely recognized you. How did visitations go, Stain? Welcome back. Well, communion and anointing. Very nice. Eva, where are you going, dude? Missteps still lead forward. Matriarch of the church. Cool. Come on, we've got to push it farther than that. What are the odds that Undead Karma was also dashed? Wait, I was revived? Oh. Yeah. Kind of forgot that was even a thing that could happen. Reaper.
Whoa! Ryan got me. From where? I've determined that the little circle damage thingy is unhelpful for me. Until I learn how to read it, because I'm always looking in the direction that I think it is, and I'm never right. Yeah, Orisa's got a weird thing where it's an actual projectile, and it takes a while to get to the enemy. So if you're trying to do damage where your crosshair is, right. and the enemy's not in it, you're not going to be doing too great. Man. Reaper. That was his ult, though, at least, right? Yeah. At least I didn't go down to just a regular bullet that time. Wrong timing. Wrong timing. Reaper drives me crazy. You're I'm revived. Finally. He's dead. Can't believe I got the assist for that. I think I shot the hamster one time. What are all these little mines? They're mines. They're <laughs> from uh, Hammond, or Wrecking Ball, if you will. Ah, oh, he went ghost form the second.
Ah, that Reaper! He's driving me wild. I swear most of my deaths have been from him. I don't know if this changes your uh, thought process at all, but next time you're in the spawn room, you can switch to Bastion. Oh, that's true. Well, I feel like at this point, I've, I've, I, I need to respect Reaper. Ah, the wall, the wall. They can't all be dubs. They can't all. Two dubs feels good. It's all because you had to go to the bathroom. That's it. I was thrown off from the very beginning. All right, I think our I think our Zenyatta helped me out a lot, so I'm gonna give them a. They get the endorsement. I do kind of miss the end of the game, like vote for who did the nice things, recognition. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I noticed they don't do play of the game. Is that only in like the unranked and real matches? I don't know if they do play the game anymore. That's an interesting question. No, no. Yeah, they do play the game. Yeah, because I got it at least once. All right. Well, you said you have to go. Yeah, I got to run to Target and do a pickup before uh, before it's time to pick up the kiddos. All right. Well, I appreciate you squatting up with me, For getting sure. those dubs single-handedly. Right. <laughs> and uh, all right, I'll catch you later. We'll catch you around. We'll see if H Man ends up coming back or not. But I'm going to disconnect here, and if he hops back in, he hops back in. But I really do have to go to the bathroom so badly, so I'm going to have to throw us to a quick intermission. Be right back. <laughs> Running on a 9-volt. What am I supposed to do? Hook him up to a car battery? <laughs> I need more power. Give me more power! Uh, uh. <laughs> can't, oh no, a thing shot out. All right, well, this maybe that was the problem. There's a little thing in there. He has chronic fatigue. He needs some help. Now, if I like wave him around, woo hoo! Woo! Just not feel it. It's because it's not Christmas yet. Brings out the best in me. Unlike the violating heat of August, that fills the space between the dirt and the heavens. Only a handful of moons prior to the golden treetops and the ritualistic pumpkin and maple that stirs our hearts and reveals our need for stupid, cheery things. <laughs> I tried to, it almost worked. Some lines really worked well. All right, next stanza. So in between the stanza, Shorty, oh my angel, you're my darling angel. Closer than my peeps you are to me. Baby, you're just falling asleep, laying he said, to rest in the fading foliage. On the ground, folding up the day to smaller, smaller glimpses of light, and here I am. <laughs> Be then in the soft wind, here I am, grinning in the grace with a hero. You say intermission is jarring. That's good to know. I can turn it down. Here, I'll do it right now. Why not? I'll turn it down right now. <laughs> See if that makes it more more conducive. Well, I feel like I'm doing all right. I feel like I'm doing all right as far as it goes with keyboard. Wouldn't say I'm playing better or worse. What's my third daily challenge? I'm pretty close. Let's go for let's go for some for some perks at least we got 45 minutes what else have we got to do what else have we got to do ain't got nothing let's see if i can play against people of my skill level hmm Ooh, support will give me extra ba battle pass huh i would highly recommend going into training mode switching around the characters and using f1 to learn about them yeah, that is a good idea. That is a good idea.
but I want to play the game too. I gotta get those. I gotta at least get the thingy. So I'm gonna go for the thingy. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a. Uh, I've got Arisa here. I've got um, Bastion here. So I got options with either one. I don't have a support that I've learned. So I guess let's let's try for Bastion since I'm enjoying the most. I'm sure there's nobody else that wants to play DPS. No way. No way does anybody else want to be a DPS in this game? Come on. It's impossible. For what it's worth, I have done that Zando at least once before in my life. When was the last time I did it? It's been a while. It's been a while. But I definitely have done it. I really want to learn her. Sticky bombs, flight, focusing beam. Game found. Thanks for your alert, Zando. We're going to give it the old try. We're not going to be engaging in chat, I'm afraid. <laughs> I wish I, I don't know if I can turn off chat, can I? I would really not. I would really rather not see what people say on my family friendly, not on my Christian Minecraft server. Plan to win or expect to lose. It's not quite how it goes. Whoever said that, it's prepare to... If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Do I remember this map? Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yikes. Oh, it's the it's Farah or whatever her name is. Right, me and Contagion died. Coming through. Looks like we're pretty neck and neck though. Are we both the DPS? Holy moly, they've moved it so far. I wasn't expecting it to be so close. <laughs> I thought it was similar skill levels. What happened to the whole similar skill level thing, huh? Missile girl! Farah's got it going on, huh? Well, this is going well. This is going well. Wasn't checking nine o'clock. Didn't think about checking nine o'clock. Yeah. 
So I definitely understand why H-Man would want to be able to shift characters around because they have their own like little pre-built feng shui that is supposedly good to play in. But what if you have somebody that's like me, who is definitely a weaker, weaker player? Where'd they go? This gives you the ability to say, hey, our DPS is, is new to the game, so I need to change up and be somebody a little more powerful. But it makes sense. Makes sense. But I guess they gotta they gotta find some way to write rules, you know. Some kind of some kind of order to follow. Oh mercy, mercy me. I'm gonna hang back while they're spawning. Did they spawn somewhere else? There they go. Just I die so quick. Let's take him to the wasteland. And loss. I don't really know who did a good job. We kind of all all did pretty rough, huh? I stuck with with cogitation, so I'm gonna give them. A, I'm gonna give them. A team. I'm gonna give Mackenzie. I saw them. I never saw the other two. All right, back to the queue. Back to the queue. Ooh. Folks, I hope that everybody is having a happy Thursday. Hope that you got big weekend plans. You may have weekend plans out there. I got some hot tamale. Hot tamale, hot tamale. Almost my checkpoint anniversary. How about that? That's crazy. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, but then it also feels like it's been forever, you know what I mean? It feels like I've been doing Checkpoint for an eternity, and at the same time, just getting started. <laughs> it's so bouncy! That bomb is so bouncy, it's wild. I 
wish there were a way to set up like an auto queue that would let you know when your things are in. Just a simple, a simple little like. Ready. Oopsie. Just parked at the target. Thought about how Metroid Red was almost a draw Metroid Red was almost a year ago. That really is wild, isn't it? back uh, for a second if you in your next match yep uh, we'll squad you up once we get done with this looks great with me all right pretty strong first round pretty strong first round What's up, Duck? How we doing, my friend? Welcome, M. How's life treating you? I'll see this matter resolved. All right, let's get after it. Duck, you have any big plans for the weekend? What about you, H man? Yeah, and, uh, Stained if you're still out there. Big plans, big plans. What you got going on, if anything? Better than yesterday so far. I'm so glad to hear it. I'm so sorry you had a rough day, man. It really is rough. It really, really is rough. Happens. Happens. It happens. I'm sorry that it did. I wish that it hadn't. Plans? What's that? I do everything spontaneous. Is that how you live your life? I wish I could be a spontaneous person. I am not. I am not the spontaneity person. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mr. Spontaneous, I am not. Yikes! Yikes! I did pretty good last round. Pretty good last round. Used to be and still try to be spontaneous, but Sarah is so far the opposite and is so far the opposite that it's impossible, I see. Yeah, both Logan and I are, are both planners, so it doesn't bode well. Oh, I thought I could get her in the air. Thought I could get her. Waste of a waste of a turret mode. Waste of a turret mode. Whoopsie. Yikes! Are we all down? That's not good. That's not good. Try to be spontaneous, but I also like to have a plan for the day out. Yeah, I plan like three months in advance. We've already got plans for Logan's birthday in December. 
I'm spontaneous once I get to places. So like if I'm if I if I know like for instance we're going to the Biltmore, I don't know what we're gonna do at the Biltmore. We'll do whatever we want. That's how things work once we get there. It's the getting there that we gotta have planned out. Can just not know that we're getting there. Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't mean to go off the ledge. I didn't mean to go off the ledge! Like today, I need to clean some and plan out an actual stream schedule. I will say, my my planning nature does work out. It bodes very well for a streaming thing because I do I keep very consistent. The only downside is that it gives me literal anxiety to ever miss a schedule. For instance, our newsletter came out this morning instead of yesterday morning. And let me tell you, I had a bad day yesterday purely because of the fact that the newsletter didn't get out on time. Once my schedule is broken, I am not a happy boy. Where's my health? Where does all of my health go? Once my health is gone, it's just gone. they win? No! And see if candle orders came in. One time we were driving past the movie theater right after Amazing Spider-Man came out. I joke with Sarah, oh hey, the new Spider-Man movie is out. Want to pull over and watch it? To my surprise, she said yes. I was flabbergated and that has never happened again and definitely will not happen now that we have kids. Oh, feel that. Yeah, that, that would never happen. Not a chance. My wife actually hates movies, so that doesn't work. If I want to go see a movie, I have to take one of my children because my wife will not go. She has no interest. It's not even that she doesn't have interest in watching a movie. She doesn't have interest in going to the theater. It's not even that she's a homebody. Because she likes going other places. She just doesn't like the theater. Ah, how? Trying to wrap my head around hates movies. I know, I love the movie theater experience. I'm a big fan of it, so it, it always surprises me too. But, you know, different strokes for different folks. She likes watching movies at home. If she's gonna watch a movie, it is not gonna be at the theater. Where? Where? It's always the sniper. Somebody's got to get their sniper. Their sniper is just killing it. Man, I was so proud of how good we did the first round. But now I see. Now I see it wasn't true. How am I going to get him? Look at how much health, look at how much health I lost. Where'd she go? Please, please.
Gotta be kidding. I thought I had it, dude. I really thought I had it. Come on. Victory! <laughs> yes! Nice, dude. Love it. All right. Healer. Yeah, ma'am. Great job. I feel like I did all right that time. 13 eliminations, one assist. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take it, dude. I'll take my decent job. All right. Hey, man, you still good? Nope. Oh, I'm queued. How do I de- how do I DQ? There we go. Let's see. What do I need? What other challenges do I need? For all rolls, roll queue. Okay. I'm not worried about that. I've done my daily challenges. I guess I'll hop back into chat, secret room. All right, what's up? Hopefully we're still in the same audio file. Hey what would you like to do, HBM? We got time for like one or two rounds. Let's go. I'm down for whatever. All right. Um... I'm still enjoying the push maps, so I'd say let's keep going for it. Yeah, I'm done. Sorry to dip. I'm kind of taking care again. She's not feeling well. Oh, no! That's no fun. It's all good. I tell you, it really is a thing right now. I feel like literally everyone I know is sick. It is just... Everybody's got the crud right now. But I hate to hear that. Last second. That was perfect timing. I'm just going to keep playing as Bastion until I am actually able to understand what is happening around me at any given moment. Make sure you're ready. Five. Who knows what we'll find out
I do not like this map, though. I will say that. I don't think I've played this one yet. This one's a new map. I know I've not won this map a single time. Which, I mean, granted, I just haven't really won that much anyway. But the ones that I have won, it has not been here. Nice, dude. We are killing it. Hey, I've played with no feet before. He just left the game. I know. I thought we were friends. Maybe they remembered me. They're like, not this guy again. I can't do it. No more. No more of this fella. Refuse to be subjected to any more torture. I play with Gworm too. We must be playing against a squad we played already. No feet! I thought they left. the dub all right i think we got time for exactly one more match I think I'll make it to uh, Battle Pass Tier 3 before we wrap things up. Did you buy the Battle Pass? Oh, no. Did you quit? Uh, unexpected server error, 400 players ahead of you. No! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, man, on the last match, too. 
That's not cool. Yay, so much. The DOS attack, man. No, I'm sure that's what it was. <laughs> Definitely not their servers. Definitely not their fault. It's gotta be a hacker's really fault. I saw a really funny TikTok that was like, Overwatch employees or Blizzard employees day of release. And the boss comes in and says, what, what happened to our servers? And they like, look at each other like, oh, DOS, we've been DOS. <laughs> Well, let's play it. Yeah, that's a bummer. Well, did you at least enjoy your time back in the world of Overwatch? You think you'll get back into it? Oh, you left. You hopped out. That's what you were saying. Well, if you're in the chat, H man. Did you at least enjoy your time back in the world of Overwatch? In the chat. We'll probably play for a little bit. See how quickly I burn out. As long as we have people that'll join in and play along with us, I would love for us to get a Checkpoint Church like squad together and at least do squads of five every now and again. This is the kind of game, if I can get it to work on my Switch, then this will be a game that I would be willing to play at night whenever I'm listening to the podcasts. Really having to wait a while on this last match. I'm not going to be able to do one. I only got 10 minutes. Xander says always down. I did hear that they are eliminating the, um, what's it called? Phone number requirement. So that'll be nice. At least that won't be a thing anymore. They got in a little bit of hot water. Sorry I was gone for so long. I was busy. You're all good, Ben. We're just about to wrap up. Not too much left now. I'm going to try to get another match. There we go. Okay. This will be our last match. So we'll wrap it up with this one. Hopefully it'll be a dub. Time will tell. But we're going to wrap it up with this one. And after this, we will uh, we'll close up stream for today. And we'll be back on tomorrow at 1 o'clock for the... Um, or 2 o'clock. Which one is it? I don't remember. It's either 1 or 2. Tomorrow for the Level 2 Episode 2 podcast. It'll air live tomorrow on our on our Twitch. I think that's about it. Next week's going to be super weird, you guys. Super weird. Um, I really have no idea when I'll be live. It really depends on how much I do. I've got a lot to do next week, and I could ostensibly not stream at all. We're playing by my rules. But I want to stream. I want to hang out. It's just a matter of... Uh, what am I going to have time for? Rummage sale is next week, so no preschool for the kiddos. It's the worst. Oh, no. How did Helen's uh, field trip go yesterday? I know you mentioned that. Everything proceed nicely. Have a good time. I do hope so. Hope it was a good trip. Aw, oh, man, come on. The last Mohican. Somebody took down the last Mohican. No more of them left. Long movie, dude. <laughs> Can we talk about a long movie? I need a healer. Do we have a healer? Do we not have a healer? I do not have help. Yep. 
though. Not surprised. What is rummage? She had fun, but also had hay fights, so we had to do a before nap bath. Ah, oh, but that's always the best, though. It's a weird dad thing to say, and but um, I don't know. I love whenever Nora comes home and is just like exhausted and filthy and has to have a bath because she had so much fun that day. It makes my heart happy. Yep, no support. Jay Zern's pointed out. Well, I don't know. I don't know how to play a support. I'm sorry, Jay Zern. I'm sorry. I would offer, but I don't know how. Yikes. Hopefully somebody's switching. We started out really strong for what it's worth. Yikes, yikes, for real? Walked right into the dragon. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that was definitely on me. I was I never expected to come through that little tunnel. I was not emotionally prepared for it. What's up, buddy? Nice, dude. Hey, look at me. That was like MLG Pro, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I'm a real gamer. Feels good, man. I love whenever I actually have an idea of what I'm doing my favorite thing. Why is he not moving? I'm pretty sure Catamarina is at my skill level. Just given the amount of times that I've taken down Catamarina, the ledge I'm pretty willing to go out on. Mr. Chappie. Church version of garage sales. Yep. I don't like Bastion's new alt. So far, not a fan. So far, not a fan. This ends now. No, Super Chunk! Super Chunk absolutely got me. And my goat. Folks, we're pretty much going to have to hop off immediately after stream today because we are pushing it. But we're glad that you're here. We're glad that we got to know you. Welcome, Ben. It was nice to meet you. Everybody that's been able to join us today has been fun. Thanks to H-Man and Zando for playing some games with me. 
Hey, Retro Zyro, thanks for the follow. Right at the last minute here, watching my expert level, my MLG Pro level gameplay here. Truthfully, the world's most gamer. I hope you're enjoying my absolute gamer playthrough. I'm looking for other Christian streamers to support. Well, we are that. Yikes, I'm down, dude. I've got to go down. Can't believe I'm still alive. But we are Checkpoint Church. We're the church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. Doing this super fun church ministry here. We hang out most days of the week. We are always on Discord. We are on Twitch uh, four days a week, sometimes five days a week. Always having a good time. We believe that three things are true about every single one of you, regardless whether or not you believe in God, don't believe in God. Go to church, don't go to church. Christian or uh, Ben, our buddy here, was in our in our faith tradition, but not in our, our specific iteration of that belief. We welcome all people. We believe that three things are true about all of you. Number one, we believe that God loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here. Number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter, no matter who you are. We believe that God loves you. We love you. You matter. You are made of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are. It. And even though we don't normally play games like this, doesn't mean we won't. We play kind of everything. I am I am the varietyest streamer that has ever variety. Where are they? Where are they? I couldn't see them. A worship pastor, I've been burdened lately to get into ministering to the gaming community. Well, I'm always happy to talk and to help support other people in the ministry. Uh, if you want to join our um, Discord or check out our link tree, either one of those will get you to our Calendly link. I'm always happy to talk, talk over the the tough parts, the best parts, the, the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, the failures that I've experienced, as well as the successes. Always happy to share that kind of stuff and to walk people through it that are wanting to enter into this kind of thing. So please reach out to me if there's any way I can help you. I was a worship pastor for a couple years. In Winston-Salem, North Carolina was where I served then. We're an actual, we're an actual church plant out of the United Methodist Church here. And that's game, folks. There we go. I'm gonna endorse our friends here. Um, I always endorse the Fox person. I'm gonna endorse our Mercy because Mercy absolutely locked it. I got an endorsement. <gasps> what? Well, aren't I just flattered? Oh my goodness. That's so. I'm so excited to have gotten a, gotten an endorsement. Feels like I'm a real gamer or something. Can't be. Tier three. Yeah, boy. Well, we'll see. We might play more Overwatch. If you want to play games with us, join our Discord. Uh, get in the know. Get in contact with folks there. We always have people connecting, getting to know each other there. We'd love to get to know you better. And as I said, God loves you. We love you. You matter. We believe those three things to be true. We're going to be streaming again tomorrow at... Uh, let, me, let me look it up so that I don't give you guys a false, false understanding of what we're doing. It is at 2. So tomorrow at 2, we'll be going live. We'd love to have you join us then. Folks, thanks for being here today. We're going to go find somebody to raid real quickly. And let's see who that'll be today. Bow, bow. Uh, looks like... Is Exion Ninja just starting or just closing? See, he's just starting. I don't like to, I don't like to raid on people starting soon screen. We just did Asia, though. 
He just started. Just getting started. That's fine. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him kicked off since most of you guys are probably going there anyway. So we'll go ahead and head over to XGN Ninja. Not sure what's on his uh, docket for the day, but I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm sure it'll be a good day. Folks, good to see you as always. Be well. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Next week, like I mentioned, is a little weird, but normally we stream Monday through Thursday and every other Friday. And God loves you. We love you. You matter. Hope to see you around the Discord uh, right now, or I hope to see you for our stream tomorrow. Either way, be well. Bye-bye.